We are talking about demons and devils and how to make them more interesting in your campaign. And today we're going to be talking about Bael. Stay tuned. If you are familiar with D&D lore or Forgotten Realms, then you know that Bael was said to be an archdevil duke who served the Lord of the Third. He was called the Bronze General because he was depicted as a golden-skinned bull-like humanoid over eight feet. He had abilities like charm person, inflicted wounds, teleportation, invisibility, and he could shape change. Of course, you can go look up any information related to Bael and its connection to Dungeons and Dragons or Forgotten Realms on your own. You can find these things online. I want to give you some alternative material that you can utilize to really spice up this devil for your game based on the original lore from which this devil was taken. Now, Bael's story spans across multiple religious and cultural contexts. It's speculated that Bael came out of the Canaanite pantheon where he was called Baal with two A's instead of an A-E. Uh, now, Baal was a deity that uh, overseen agrarian societies and had an influence on fertility and elemental um, happenings within the world itself. Uh, this is something that was supported by a lost goetic remor that was called the Liber Officiorum Spiritum that was said to have influenced the writings of the Ars Goetia as well as the Pseudomonarchia Daemonum. Uh, both books that talk about the practices of summoning Bael uh, to some degree. But with the introduction of Judaism as a monotheistic practice, uh, Baal became Bael, and this deity was demonized, and we saw that uh, he was essentially associated with false gods and idolatry and other things of this nature. So then we have to ask the question, who is Bael in the occult and in demonology? Well, Bael would be called the first ruling king of the East, and this connotation is extremely important considering that Baal came out of the East. That's where Baal was worshipped, and it is said to be the birthing place of men. He was also called the first king of hell, which places him on a very different hierarchical level than what you would see in Dungeons and Dragons or Forgotten Realms. Another major difference is that in Forgotten Realms, he's said to rule over 66 companies or about 20,000 infernal spirits or devils. But in the original text, he was said to oversee 66 legions, which in in terms of like Roman legions, that's over 300,000 infernal spirits. If you were to look at occult lore, that would be over 400,000 infernal spirits that he is commanding. This is a huge difference. Bael was also a master of invisibility. In fact, it was said that if you were to summon him and gain his favor, he would gift you with invisibility as well as grant you with a certain level of cunning and slyness that would help you better serve him in some way, shape, or form. Now, I wanted to show you really quick, this is coming out of the Grand Grimoire, or the Red Dragon. Uh, this is an image that was made by Louis Le Breton. Uh, it has become quite popular in regards to Bael. You can see that he has three heads here and he is sitting on top of spider legs. This is uh, a much different representation than what you would see, of course, in Forgotten Realms, where he's a giant horned golden bull. But this is how he was depicted. And the other thing with him is that you had to wear his seal when you were summoning him. You could only summon him between 9 and noon or between 3 and sunset. But if you weren't wearing his pendant in the form of a layman, which was essentially the seal that was large enough to cover your heart, then he wouldn't even pay you any mind. Now the thing that I find most interesting about how you can put him into your games is that those that are cursed by him or haunted by him or those that summon him that don't necessarily gain his favor can be cursed with what is called desacralization or a desacralegious mind that essentially prevents them from recognizing what is sacred versus what is secular. And so this is something that can really impact uh, your holy users, your magical folks like clerics or paladins in your game. So that is just a really quick introduction to Bael, uh, one of the many demons we're gonna be talking about here on this channel. So please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Let me know what other demons you're excited about hearing about, and I'll see you again next time. Judge and Earl.